What are your feelings toward the guy who um, traded you off to the white people? No, who gave you? So who you trained us? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your feelings toward that person? Oh, well, I feel pity for him because history has uh, proven to him that he went to the wrong side. But nevertheless, he's forgiven because he doesn't know what he was doing. Shame is with him. I think, they've, I, think, I think they forgiven this. I mean, that is remarkable. I mean, that is an incredible level of, you know, just self-respect. That you can look at somebody that betrayed you and not have and not hold no ill will towards them. I mean that's a that's a, a level of respect that we haven't achieved yet. If somebody step on our shoes, you're ready to fight. Forgiveness is in their culture is way high. That's something we can learn from them. He live with the shame every day of knowing that he betrayed them. And that that's a punishment in itself, because that play mind games are you knowing every day that you're responsible for someone else's torture or ill will. Man. I just, I just blow your mind, you think about it. To go back to the place and incarcerate, for 15, took 15 years out of your life, now you're working there. To show other people what you've been through. To teach other people. That's another level that we get to attain, but man. That just shows a lot about his character. Y'all struggle was, you know, a great impact, but like, we go through struggles too every day. Like, in East St. Louis, we stereotype every day, and it's hard, like, put me myself coming up as a black man. But like, they say that, you know, I'm not gonna amount to anything, or it's because I live in East St. Louis, I can't make it nowhere. But I feel like if you can make it out of East St. Louis, I can make it anywhere. <laughs> 